I was already wondering if they're still here, but yeah, there they are, Canadian geese. And over there, and I saw a couple over there, and there. Woo, where's my finger? There. Morning! Alright, it doesn't look much, but let's go lower. Maybe it looks more. Yeah, this is 64. I have to do 67 in total. But I'm happy that I'm that far already. <laughs> now I have to deliver them and then I can go home. <gasps> I have a headache, it's so bad. But we have awesome, awesome weather outside. It was like 75 earlier. Sunshine, yeah, that's what I like. Everything delivered, I can go home. But I need to show you the sunset. And I'm not sure why I'm whispering. Oh, it's almost gone. James, are you laughing at me? Yes, yes I am. Damn. Also wondering if I broke some sort of third wall yesterday, the way you exclaimed at me when I grabbed <laughs> the computer parts. Mm -hmm. Is it third wall or fourth wall? I don't know. Bye, James. I'm Bye. going home. Have fun working. Well, you came in late. I will try not to be here to midnight again. Wow. That sounds like a plan. This couch might not be the most fanciest of couches, but I actually really like this. Because I, I sometimes actually just lay down and use it with my iPad, but it's, I think it's downstairs. Uh, today and uh, since since last couple of days, my shoulder has been killing me. Actually, not killing me, but like it's very difficult to sleep on the shoulder and partially also on, on my side, on my hip. Because I don't know why, I think I did something stupid or I moved something wrong but I always have the problem that something hurts it goes away and then the next thing that hurts comes up and that's just a vicious cycle like before this I had my knee that was a little bit icky uh, probably because of my bachelor party <laughs> which was of course hilarious fun I mean it was fun but yeah it, the the fun ended pretty quickly afterwards <laughs> after everything started to hurt and the days after Actually, it took like two weeks for me to recover fully from the actual injuries and bruises that I had. My knee was one of those things when I came here, started to act up for some stupid reason. And that's pretty much fine now, but now my shoulder hurts. And of course, that is the exact shoulder and, and, and hip that I want to sleep on, because I like to sleep on my side. And I actually have to make shift like an entire form out of pillows in order to get myself uh, any kind of like cushioning for sleep it sucks so bad it's actually been keeping me up uh most of the last two nights i'm not really tired yet but yeah what's up buddy i know you guys love this couch you have a pillow and all sorts of toys but you, know, you don't care about that do you you just want to sleep and st walk and stuff mm. Yeah, we're have to. We're going to have to give you back soon. I'm not excited about it because I have actually been enjoying you too a lot. Honestly, these are one of the most. How can you say that best? Like adoring cats. Like I can do anything to him. I can throw him around. I can basically hang upside down for a while. I could probably smoosh him, like, and he wouldn't care. He's actually like, oh, oh, I like this, I like this, oh. He will come back if I would. I, I don't really like to throw cats, but I can throw them up to the bed, like almost towards the ceiling and all up the bed. He'll like, whoop. He'll just throw me again. Like basically he'll just come back and be like, oh yeah, I totally want to be thrown again. Hmm. So I think that I'm not able to escape the fact that I might have to get a cat soon. I mean, I'm of course very happy about it, because I actually like having like something fluffy running around, other than the Ewok. Hmm? Yeah. Which makes me think, actually, that I, I've never been a cat person before, and I'm always a little bit more skittish when it comes to the, the cats, because, well, you don't know really what they're thinking most of the time. I mean, with them, I know that they're all cool, and <laughs> they wouldn't really ever hurt me, unless they do something really dumb, or you do something to hurt them and they all defend themselves but yeah it actually made me change my view on cats and i wonder if you guys have had animals or friends or family with animals that you were 
at first thought like no but I don't like this animal and you ended up actually being either best friends with them or they actually surprisingly were incredibly sweet and well in your case a troublemaker hmm? <laughs> it takes like a little bit for them to get used to me but other than that I've never really had any animals that were dicks and hated being around me say bye bye say bye yeah, you don't mind now well guys I'll see you guys tomorrow bye